Shahzad Poonawala of the BJP is joining us. Also with us is the Congress spokesperson Salman Sauz. I do thank both of you gentlemen for joining us, but I request a little bit of patience because the Prime Minister's attack today was multifold. So we'll break down the statements one by one and take it forward with our guests. Listen in to the Prime Minister's opening attack on the concept of guarantees. गारंटी की इस चर्चा के बीच आपको झूठी गारंटी देने वालों से भी सावधान रहना है और जिन लोगों की अपनी कोई गारंटी नहीं है वो आपके पास गारंटी वाली नई नई स्कीम लेकर आ रहे हैं उनकी गारंटी में छिपे खोट को पहचान लीजिए झूठी गारंटी के नाम पर उनके धोखे के खेल को बांप लीजिए तो इट्स झूठी गारंटीज एंड धोखे का खेल लेट मी गो क्रॉस टू सलमान सोस फर्स्ट आप फॉर हिज ओपनिंग रिएक्शन बिकॉज this is emerging the concept of guarantees a little bit different than what the aam aadmi party also did but taking it forward is becoming the new congress model and the prime minister is warning the public that this is actually jhoot well uh, i think the public knows and the people of india know uh, that the biggest jumla baaz today is attacking the congress party for trying to rebalance uh, the economy in favor of the 99% of the people who are being left behind the prime minister works for 1% maybe less than 1% of the people of this country we are doing something different now we could ask the prime minister about his own and his own his party's promises to the people of the country mm. to grow jobs reducing inflation reducing prices eliminating fraud and corruption and by the way uh, uh, we've just seen 12.5 lakh crores Uh, worth of loan write-offs, out of which very little actually is recovered. We have 26 lakh crores of fuel taxes in this country under this prime minister. More than that, by by the way, by now, where are we? What is happening with that money? And he's talking about bankruptcy, really. When he inherited uh, basically uh, the reins of government, India's national debt was about 55 lakh crores. Today, it is upwards of 160 lakh crores. Okay. So the debt has grown by almost two and a half to three times. Meanwhile, the economy, in nominal terms, has grown by only about two times. So, who is bankrupting the country by following a policy that is decimating the small and medium enterprises in this country? Okay. The who is bankrupting this country by giving farmers no nothing that he promised them, doubling mm-hmm. income. meanwhile we know where farmers are right now so but your guarantees have you not know, included this is the, the farmers same prime minister sorry the none of the guarantees have included the farmers so far the ones He's offered by the, the farmers none of the guarantees offered by the congress party so far have included the farmers the farmer the, as far as we are concerned in madhya pradesh for example we have a guarantee where we are supporting farmers with their loans so okay. that is one of them already but i am just saying that as far as the prime minister and his party are concerned hmm. what have they really done for the farmers okay, did he promise the, did he promise doubling of dub, just a second doubling of farmer incomes by 2022 everybody knows that is not happening and by the way he promised he gave gas cylinders great the price of gas cylinders has gone up from about 450 okay. to about 1200 where in srinagar where i am so if we in rajasthan by the way or in madhya pradesh we want to give gas cylinders in Ra- madhya pradesh for example we have promised mm. uh, one free gas cylinder what big crime have we committed okay fair People enough let me help let me take that to shahzad let me take that to shahzad installed... i'm going to break this down okay. into multiple attacks the prime minister make you will have more opportunities to talk on this concept because he was very very uh, you know long and very very detailed on this attack shahzad how do you respond to what salman soz is saying that there are multiple guarantees you may use that term or not use that term promises that the bjp government over the last 10 years has also made 9 years now uh, and haven't fulfilled most of them uh, 
I am obviously not as skilled at rhetoric like Salman bhai is, but I hope he will give me the three minutes that I gave him and I will speak a few facts which I am competent at. Promise minus delivery equals Congress party's Nakli guarantee. Congress party said that it will give 200 units free electricity per household. Then it said that no, it won't be 200 units free, it will be 10% of the consumption. And then it increased the best comrades by 2.89 and the average tariff for the other users by 70 paisa. Congress said 2000 rupees for Graha Lakshmi every household female head will get. Instead, they have suspended that program. Congress said I will give OPS to people in Himachal. 15,000 people did not get their salaries on time. Congress said 1500 per women in Himachal did not give it on time. Congress said 300 units free in Himachal Pradesh. It increased the tariff there by 22 paise. Congress said, because he spoke about farmers, I will give farm loan waiver in Rajasthan. In 10 days, instead 19,400 farmers on record have lost their lands because Congress gave 10,000 rupee loan waiver only to those who have loans from cooperative banks, not to those who had, as they had promised, in nationalized banks. Okay, but what on about your and opposed to that. Now, the second part of what Mr. Salman Souza said about our guarantee. Yes. Prime Minister Narendra Modi guaranteed that jo inhone teen teen dash, generation se ka garibi hata aur garibi nahi hata pae, the average rate of falling of poverty in this country has been 12% per annum. It was 8% under Mr. Manmohan Singh. 80 crore people got free ration. 50 crore people for the first time got 5 lakh rupee cover under Ayushman Bharat. Apart from that, 9 crore people got Ujwala gas cylinders. Both Shabnam and Shilpa both got those cylinders. 90, uh, uh, 12 crore Kisan got Kisan Samman Nidhi. The agricultural budget was increased five-fold. By the way, they procured 3 lakh crore worth wheat and rice during their five years during UPA. Only wheat and rice I'm talking about 10 lakh crore plus has been procured by the current government. Swaminathan's report was put into the dustbin from 2006 to 2014. We came and implemented it. Swami Ji blessed us. And their RBI governor, James Bond Rajan, had said that MSP is actually inflationary. They gave an inflation rate of 10% plus, and especially between 12 to 14, it was 10% plus. plus. Today, IMF has shown it is 4.25%. Okay. One of the lowest, one last statement, one of the lowest inflation rates is in the country today, 7.25. But let me give you one last statement. Yes. We had made three big promises, which is ideological and political commitment. Hmm. 370, done, Prime Minister Modi. Ram Mandir, done, Prime Minister Modi. UCC, on the way to be done. I asked Salman Sos, UCC to aapne constitution mein dala tha na? UCC to Ambedkar ji ka swapna tha? UCC to Goa mein aapne support kiya tha? What is your position? They said, ladki hun lad sakti hu. I will give 40% seats to women. They have given one minister totally in Karnataka and Himachal governments. Okay. One minister is a woman. One. Okay, One. I'll, I'm not going to deviate the debate to UCC. I'm going to focus guarantee. on the concept of guarantee. Congress means big guarantee.